Hey, Brad, thanks so much for your time. What do I find you doing on this Wednesday morning? Uh, just actually on my way into the trolls, uh, Greg got um, a couple uh, horses in there having a run around. So, um, yeah, just heading in there now. All right, let's talk about your chances this week. Addington Raceway, you've got a first starter, Ain't No Angel by Raging Bull, who's trialled up quite nicely. Yeah, she's been trialling up pretty nice, Greg. We're pretty happy with her. Um, hence why I thought we'd, we'd give her a go at Addington. We're under no illusion it's pretty strong up there. But um, the way she's been working and trialling and everything, I think she's good enough to go up there and um, give things a good shake. Brad, she's come up with a middle-of-the-front row barrier draw. What can we expect early from her? And, and at this stage of her career, um, where's her strengths lie? Yeah, she's um, she's quite a nice filly, I think, Greg. Um, you know, how good is probably, we're not quite sure. I haven't really um, asked her for too much at the trials. But, um, look, for that draw, I plan on going forward and driving her positively and uh, giving her every chance to win the race. She's, she's led in trials in her last... Last time she led at the Omru Trial, she was pretty impressive. So, um, yeah, I think uh, we'll go forward, drive her positively, and, um, yeah, see what she can give us up the home straight. You think a bit of it, don't you? Yeah, I do think she's quite nice, Greg. Um, obviously, I haven't had too many uh, handy paces, so I'm not quite sure where I get a good line on one. But, um, yeah, she's, she's probably not the most outstanding bred, but... Um, yeah, she certainly works like she's um, quite a handy filly. So we'll see what happens on Friday. Brad, they can always throw one. Just remember that. There's always one that can come out out of a, a mare that may not have performed and by a stallion that, well, Raging Bull was good enough on the track. So good luck on uh, on Friday night with her. Wanted to concentrate on the Thank winter you. meet with you. Uh, idealism's your drive in the cup. I know you've missed the last couple of opportunities to drive him, but gee, he's been good. He, he deserves one of these. Yeah, he is a really nice horse, Greg. Um, he's pretty genuine. He never goes a bad race. Um, he's been in some strong fields lately, but he's still been competitive. He strikes another pretty handy field there um, in the weekend, and there's there's quite a few, actually, quite a few chances in that race, horses that could pop up, but um, of recent form, Taylor Toll probably looks the one to beat. He's just been racing out of his skin lately, so um, yeah, if idolism brings his manners, look, he's probably going need a nice trip to be able to win it, but he certainly can win it if things go his way. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Paddy, Power, uh, Paddy Proudfoot, rather, Teal or Toll, who came to Addington and performed with distinction. Tommy Waterhouse, last start winner. Uh, right, yep. Aviator off the back here. They're, they're deep races, aren't they? Good races. Yeah, they are. Yeah, there's a heap of chances in that race. Like you say, all cursed, and I think she's got four in that have all been racing well. And, um, and yeah, look, yeah, there's stacks of chances. Even Peroni's off the front, been going well. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a really good race. Your own horse, Simone Lindini, starts in the race prior to the Cup. Two from two. Uh, the family of Showgate, of course, so the breedings there. Has trialled, uh, I think, since that... that uh, well, it's had to trial because it hasn't raced for a wee while. But, um, yeah, where, where is she at? And what are you hoping for this week? She's had a couple of trials, Greg. Um, both of them have been nice. Uh, she ran on nice and hit the line the last 100 at Ashburn and last week at the trials pretty nicely. So... I think she is pretty forward, and, and she certainly um, will go a good race. But there is, once again, there's quite a lot of depth in that field. Um, you know, she's a filly that's only had two starts, and she does have plenty of upside. But, um, you know, Dad's got one in there, Love in the Port, who obviously won on Cup Day, and he's above average. Um, Nathan's got a couple off the back marks there. Um, I think Kiwi Tricks and Andy Hall and uh, Smoke and Bando are another trotter down there that's been in good form. So, um, yeah, I think she'll go a really nice race, but um, it's going to be very hard for her to win. She's fresh up, and she does have limited experience over some of these horses that are probably stepping back in grade racing a horse like her. But she's certainly one to follow over the next couple of months because, uh, as I said, she is above average. Yeah, went around on that trial with uh, Love in the Port, and they sort of went to the line together home in 58. So uh, that's probably a pretty good guide for this race. Just looking through your other drives uh, for Alistair Black, uh, in Durain in the first, out of a Jules winner in uh, Merckx and was backed on debut. Yeah, he unfortunately made a gallop, um, made a wee mistake there off the tape, just panicked a little bit when the tape went. So um, Amber's uh, put a set of uh, earplugs in him this week. I think he's got a non-removable hood on this week just to help him stay settled over the first hundred. Um, he'll need to bring his manners. There's a couple of nice maidens in there. Uh, Dad's got one in there that Goes quite nice and um, won the Brent Barclay's been driving at the trials for Brett Gray's been trialling up pretty nice. 
So, um, yeah, look, he'll need to bring his manners, but if he does, um, and a couple of those nicer ones make mistakes, he probably can win. Yeah, all right. Looking forward to, to that race. Uh, right as in race number four. Here's a good race to win, Brad. The uh, happy birthday, Cherie Black, 40th. Mm, that'd be a nice one to get home in. <laughs> yeah, it would, yeah. He's actually been racing really well this horse, too. Um, I think he's probably my best chance of winning one on the day. I, yeah, he got home well. Um, come home wide last last start. He was well back and hit the line strong. And um, he comes up with a far better draw this week. And I just think the race is should suit him a lot better this week. So I think he's a pretty big winning chance. He'll be hard to beat. Yeah, unique too, because that's out of a Jules winner in Pembroke with Delight as well. So um, yeah, it could be a, a rear double there early on. Uh, race number five, Sonny Maguire. Yeah, he's a really nice horse, Greg. He's been racing really well. Um, probably the strongest field that he's met. But, um, you know, it was win the other day. He had plenty left in the tank. He actually cruised down to the line the other day. So... Um, I think he'll be improved, and I think he'll go a big race, but he'll have to because, um, yeah, that's a pretty tidy field. Yeah, it certainly is. Southern Supremacy Heat, of course. Uh, the likes of Matt May just step it up a notch with a bang. They're all racing really well, but you've got to have a crack at them to see where you're at. Matt Quillen in the last for Matt Brinsden. Uh, an each-way chance? Yeah, he's an each-way chance, Greg. He just uh, he just gets on the nickel a little bit in his races, and um, last night he was tucked away on the markers, and he just over-raced a bit, and when he got out, he, he loomed up like the winner and unfortunately just died the last couple of hundred. So I, I put that down to him just over racing and um, but with a wider draw and being in, probably being in more open spaces, um, if he relaxes in the running, I think he'll go a lot better race. Got one in on Sunday at Miffin 2, sweet there. One at Wigatui and then trial. Uh, so it wouldn't, wouldn't be without a chance because actually trialled nicely at Ashburton and behind Queen of Diamonds, really kept finding the line. Yeah, she's uh, had mixed form, Greg. She's had uh, things go wrong, broken gear and been checked a couple of times in bits and pieces. So her forms are quite mixed, but um, she probably goes a little bit better than her form suggests. But um, yeah, she's probably uh, just a place chance stepping up and grade in that field. All right. Just wanted to ask you about uh, Stable Star, Cracker Hill. Uh, we haven't heard much about him. What's the latest? Yeah, he's actually back in work now, uh, Greg. He's just... Um, he, we found that he had a little piece of bone growing in the back of his knee, which is very unique. And um, basically, he had an operation, and uh, they more or less chiselled that, that little bit of bone off that was niggling him. And um, since then, he's he's had a break. And then I um, sent him to a good friend, Craig Ferguson's down there for some swimming. And he had eight weeks down there just staying off his legs and um, still ticking over with a little bit of fitness. And he's since come home and jogged up and... Uh, yeah, all going well. We'll just uh, bring him forward on a nice slow preparation and perhaps give him a start or two in the winter. And and then uh, I'd like to just freshen him up a little bit and obviously tackle the uh, Cup Week Carnival this year. But uh, we're certainly just keeping our fingers and toes crossed at the moment. It's been a bit of a um, frustrating path over the last year or so with him. So we're just hoping that things stay together because um, when he's right, he's you know competitive with the best of them. Yeah, when you see these races that are on at the moment, like the Fred Shaw this week, and you see Bolt for Brilliance and Muscle Mount, and obviously taking on Sunday's son, Oscar Bonavina and the like, um, you, you'd like to be part of that, wouldn't you? Because you know this horse has got a motor to go with him. That's right, yeah. it's uh, Look, and, and how good those trotters are at the moment just uh, gives you goosebumps even sitting at home watching them. They're just incredible. And uh, so many of them at such racing at such a high level. Um, at times, he showed that he was up to racing with the best of them competitively so it'd just be nice to get him there and give him his chance at uh, grabbing one of those big races Hey Brad, thanks so much for your time, busy afternoon ahead for you and a week judging by uh, your chances over the three days, um, go well my friend Thanks very much Greg